Okay, um, hi everybody. I was just about, as you can see just here, I uh, picked up a camo tumbler from Mother's Basement last week and I was just in the throes of doing a comparison video between the camo and the black tumbler. I was going to show the, uh, the bat pod as well with the dark Spartan cape on the Batman DX12 when the doorbell rang and this arrived and those of you that have already had a look and are interested in it I know you've all looked on YouTube and looked at the photos and as you can tell it's the 89 Batmobile uh, just to give it some scale I'll just grab a random DVD so it's not Batman one or anything but there you go and there's a DVD case on top of it it is absolutely huge that is one big coffin I uh, got it from Sideshow and I know the guy called CB Collects the other day got his and his box was completely smashed and I think he was from Canada so that's how mine's arrived it's not too bad I mean obviously it is a shipper and as, as he said in his video uh, typical Sideshow they don't double box things but then if you double box it, it puts the weight up stuff like that but yeah there's a few gouges in it I wasn't expecting it to be pristine um, obviously coming from America but no that side's okay it looks like it's been laid on the bottom there and literally just dragged around a little bit so I won't bore you too much looking at a box what I'll do is I'll put a cut in here and I will do I'll do the camo video that I was originally intending to do and then uh, I'll do an unboxing video and show you this Okay, sorry about the noise, but I'm outside, so I want to get the best light on this and the dogs walking around in the background. Um, just want to show the black tumbler next to the, uh, the Dark Knight Rises bat pod, the DX12, and the Dark Spartan cape on it. Now that Dark Spartan cape looks absolutely awesome to me, I think it's fantastic. It really, it's a pain in the arse to get in position, but when you get it, it looks great. Batman there with the EMP gun. I'll do a quick walk around of the back, black tumbler. Like I say, I'm not going to review it properly because there's so many reviews out there. I just want to do a quick comparison. So I'll do a quick walk around of it. I'll just show you. Back views. And then I'll put these two side by side. They can be seen. I'm right in the light there, I'm afraid. Lazy missus sitting there in a beer in the afternoon. Good idea, I don't know what to say. Okay, like I say, you've all seen this before. I'm sure you've all seen the camo ones, but I've not seen them together very much. I think Seb has got those. I thought, well, it's a nice sunny day, I'll take advantage of it. So, getting that 89's really put me on the hop now because I was going to spend ages doing this. But, uh, right, I'll scan over that and I'll get the camo one out and I'll put that next to the black one. Uh, so you can see them side by side. Right, I'll just start to come back to this quickly because I didn't spend enough time on it initially. Uh, and do a proper walk round of it. Again, as you can see, like I said earlier, dark Spartan cape there. Some big really detail of this. See, it's pointless turning the lights on because you won't be able to make anything out of it. The noise in the background isn't my water works, it's some silly little fan in thing that we could go in, but can't turn it off because it's solar.
I've tried sitting him on there and it is a real bitch and I don't think you can do it. But I've looked at a couple of forums and a couple of them have said, because it's the Dark Knight Rises version, it's not made for Batman, it's made for Catwoman. So when Catwoman arrives in a couple of weeks, I'll uh, see how she fits on it. But from what I could see, Batman will not fit on there, or at least not fit in there properly. You couldn't get, if I go around the other side, You can get the foot in here, but you can't get the knee to go in there and the hand to go on the handlebars. It's just impossible. I'm sure there is a way you can do it, but without modding the figure, don't really want to do that. As you can see, I've just pushed the cape so it's going over the rear tire. He looks so cool on that. That sort of that sort of angle there. Okay. Right. Now I'm gonna get those tumblers out and uh, we can do a little look at the comparison of them. Okay, um, I won't do an unboxing on this because if you look back on my other videos, you'll see the unboxing of the, the, uh, the black tumbler. So everything pretty much inside is, is the same. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the box for the camo one. Um, as you can see, you've got Dark Knight Rises. Uh, just get on that. Tumbler camouflage version. Got the old uh, movie masterpiece over there. And Hot Toys logo just over there. You can make out. Yeah, just got the tumbler in the middle there. Um, just showing the camouflage thing, snow coming down. Uh, on the back. So on the side, you've just got Dark Knight Rises. Tumblr camouflage version MMS 184 down there. On the back, you've just got the credits. And again, as I always warn, choking hazard, don't eat hot toys. And this side, it's exactly the same as the other side. Okay, I'll get it out and uh, do a bit of a quick walk around with the camo one, show a few things that I like, hope there's nothing I dislike, um, and then I'll put them side by side. Okay, 28 degrees and we're looking at Bane wearing a thick leather jacket. Fantastic. Criminal mastermind, stupid as hell when it comes to a hot day. Um, He's holding a picture there of uh, Harvey Dent, which I picked up from a guy who's on our Facebook group, which is uh, One Sixth Phenomena, Anonymous, rather. Um, it's uh, Starland Collectibles. He's a nice guy, I've had a couple of conversations with him, and he does these, and he does the little Joker files and the newspapers for the Joker interrogation room. Um, look him up if you want one of those. That incidentally is not a Bane hand, that is a Thor hand holding that picture. I just got imposed up there because he's standing on top of that. There it is. I love it. That's going to look fantastic posed up on top of the uh, detour cabinet with, uh, with the black version. Again, I said I picked this up from Mother's Basement. I'll put a link up to their website at the end of this. Uh, it was extremely well priced. Um, 
first time I'd ever bought from them. Communication was fantastic. I mean, th the difference I noticed straight away between this and the black one is that you can pick out all the little details, all the little rivets. Uh, just zoom in there, try and keep my shadow out of it. You can see all the scuffs and like blast marks. Ah, well, I've just noticed there, there's not scratches on the windows by the way, I forgot to take the tape off the inside. Take it off the outside, but not there. I think Bane looks just awesome pose on top of that. So I'll do a quick walk around this, I'll try and keep my shadow out of it if I can. So as the perils of doing an outside an outside video I suppose. Again, just got all the uh, like the braking flaps at the back there in the down position. So I think, as it, again, if you've seen any of these videos before, not so much mine. I think Clipper did a uh, in-depth review on this, which is why uh, I'm not trying to compete, just sort of showing it. I mean, all these move up and down, all independent. The little piston hinges and the detail is fantastic. Yeah, I'll try and show the back of this like that. I mean, even when you go right, right in there, you've got all the, the valves and the gauges. The suspension on this thing is awesome. The only thing I did wish was this this would light up or do something like uh, like the 89 Batmobile does. Again, you've got blast marks or scuffs all down the side. Exhaust ports there. And the tread on these these wheels, these tyres rather, it's fantastic. It's really detailed. I mean, they're weathered as well. They're not like they're brand new. They look like they've they've actually driven on a road. Same with the front ones down there. Even behind, Bang looks cool on that. I tried to show this in my other video, I might be able to pick it up from this. Let me just see there, that, that red peg, just about there. If you can take those out, if you take those out then the wheels free run. Uh, I like to keep them in because I keep them on, I'm going to keep this on top of a cabinet. So obviously I don't want it rolling off or anything like that. I'll show you from this side. And that wheel though, look at those wheels. Little things pinged off there. I'll show you this while it's doing it. It just pops in. I don't want to wiggle it about too much. It just pops in there like that. Some of you if you get this you might want to put a little little just a little dab of super glue just to hold it in there. Again you see all the scuff marks down here. I mean it is exactly what it says on the tin. It is the tumbler. But like the original version, does it come in black? We know it comes in black, and now we get a better look at the camo one. Before I compare the two, um, and I can't remember if I've seen any in our videos. Like I say, it's not knocking the quality of it. The quality of it is fantastic. Inside, by the way, it's all exactly the same as the black one. The chair slides backwards and forwards. I would show that, but where it's so bright, I don't think we need to get a good picture of it because the sun's behind me. And then I'll be sort of facing the camera into the sun. Um, you do get a little bit of play with the front wheels. Don't want to move it about too much in case Bane comes a cropper. Um, biggest bugbear with this. No cannon. They should have put that cannon on the top. You know, the cannon that sort of comes up from the side, rolls around and sort of pivots like that. You just see towards the end of the Sorry, my shadow's in the way again there. For those of you that don't know, you get six LEDs on here. Again, there's no point in me lighting them up because you won't see it outside of here. You've got two this side, 
to that side and you've got one over there and one just over there and they do light up very well and again I say it's pointless putting them out because you won't see them in the sunlight again you can see I don't know if you're going about these, these scuff marks and that but it just where the other one's black you, you can't pick the things out on it and as if you see there on the left side you've got the, the, the weathering down here there you haven't it just looks like a beast it really does so you can pick up all the pistons in there it's cool like I say I don't know if mother's both have got any left but if they have uh, get one and buy one. If not, I know that Lee Ward, good about the robots, has or had some. Had some coming in the other week. So, like I say, either Mother's Basement or, or Lee Ward. What I'll do, I'll put a quick pause in here and I'll move Bane out of the way because I've got a slight breeze here and I'm just worried about him doing a backflip off of it and then what I'll do I'll put them down next to each other and do a quick comparison video okay do apologize about the shadow getting there every now and again it's very difficult to see okay I'll put a pause in and uh, come back with them next to each other okay there they are as you can see they are pretty much identical again I'm just wary of getting my shadow in this is literally just a paint job there's no difference whatsoever I can't really tell them apart I don't I don't want to because I, I love them both so I'm trying not to make this too long a video because my say 89 Batmobile was sitting out there and I'm not aching to get that out of the box so I may put one of these next to it just to show the size difference. I mean, size-wise, it's not as wide, but it is a little bit longer. I think somebody said it's up to four foot long. So, judging by the box, it is big. But anyway, I digress. a few pictures this week while I'm chatting away of the uh, up and coming things from the uh, San Diego Comic Con and uh, doesn't look like it's going to be the last Bat vehicle does it? That 66 Batmobile looks absolutely fantastic those of you who are the fan of the 66 sort of series I know it's cheesy and I know it's sort of kapow and holy this and holy that Batman but you know me being 38 I sort of grew up watching them a little bit those on, on TV of an evening and I personally love them so I'll be picking them up and I'll definitely be picking that Batmobile up I mean that, that is just iconic but like I say you've seen the two tumblers you've seen the bat pod that looks to be it from the uh, Nolan trilogy of uh, vehicles really it doesn't look like they're going to do a one sixth bat and obviously as you can see from the scale of these can see why really I 
don't know, big shout out to Mother's Basement for this. Shout out to Starline Collect Star sorry, Starland Collectibles for the uh, the Harvey Dent photo. The original black tumbler I did pick up from Lee Wall from Good, the Bad and the Robots. And I think I'll leave it here. I'll uh, cut this video together and get it uploaded. And then um, I move on to the 89 Batmobile one. But as usual, any uh, comments you have are more than welcome. And uh, new subscribers I picked up from my Iron Man video and the vid views I've got on my Iron Man video are well over 700 at the moment. So I'm over the moon with that. Thanks very much for, very much for watching. I'll leave this here and hope you enjoy and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.